Welcome to English with Leanne. Today's idiom is to rain on someone's parade. And a parade, normally this is a type of celebration in the street where people walk in the street, maybe a band plays and they march in the street. Often we have parades on holidays or to honor some reason that you are celebrating. In America, people might have heard of the Thanksgiving Day Parade. I'll pop a picture over here of one of our Thanksgiving Day Parades. And to rain. Rain is often a sign of something negative. So that means to rain on someone's parade. So something bad on something good. Ooh. That is to ruin someone's mood or to lower their mood from something they were happy about. So an example of that would be, don't say anything. You know he just graduated. We don't need to rain on his parade by giving him that bad news. Oh, so he's, this person has just graduated. He's happy, finished school and there's bad news. So very often when you rain on someone's parade, you're going to share bad or negative information. I wish I didn't have to rain on your parade, but I need to tell you something. Whew. I've just told you that I have bad information that I need to share with you. So whenever you rain on someone's parade, you are giving them bad information. If you think someone's going to tell you something that's not going to make you happy, you might say something like, please don't rain on my parade. Can you wait to tell me till tomorrow? And here you're asking them to hold off and not give you the bad information yet. Notice I just used hold off. I'll link that down below in the description. When did we start using to rain on someone's parade? Well, we started using it in the early 1900s. I already explained what a parade was and rain being a negative symbol, but when did this idiom become popular? So this idiom was used by Bob Merrill in his song, Don't Rain on My Parade, in the 1960s. I'll go ahead and try to link a video of that song down below for you. Good luck using Don't Rain on My Parade or to rain on someone's parade if you want the infinitive.